to interesting simple arithmetic calculation gap between the two consecutive position of 0 degree or 180 degree because 11 times in 12 hours then meeting to each other consecutively what will be the time gap 12 by 11 12 by 11 means if you will convert into minute you know no need to tell this is bacha wala thing just to multiply by 60 then it will become 65 into 5 by 11 minutes means this is the standard measurement between two consecutive meeting either 0 degree or 180 degree don't calculate 0 degree and next 180 degree no 20 degree or 280 degree consecutive this is the time gap 11 times they are meeting in 12 hours 12 by 11 is 65 into 5 by 11 this also you try to remember 65 into 5 by 11 minutes this this all will re reduce your effort once you will look the clock question if you are remembering these three four figures maybe just after seeing the question you will able to mark it just by one line you will do 10 second just suppose if any of the clock this value of p what is p p is the time duration between two consecutive position of hours and minute hand either 0 degree or 180 degree if p is more than 65 into 5 by 11 minutes then what will happen clocks will going slow going slow means losing time if p is less than 65 into 5 by 11 minutes then clock is going too fast or gaining the time actual time is actual time may be actual time may be 7 hours 40 minutes but your your clock will show 7 hours 47 minutes 7 minutes are gained now we have to calculate these 7 minutes gaining of the time happened in how many hours or in how many days because this is very slow process don't think watch or clock will gain very immediate time like in one day or two days they will gain 20 minutes or 30 minutes nothing they will they will gain very slow mechanically if you want to understand this is all based on the spring operation this is a spring it's one time it will compress one time it will expand just will conversion of the energy from kinetic energy to potential energy that conversion rate of conversion if it is disturbed then clock will show either losing of time or gaining of time depends on which direction a spring is disturbed rate of the changing of the energy then uh, clocks is going fast or gaining the time these figure try to keep in mind another concept based on this very frequent questions are coming this data and afterwards another one data is there based on that also questions are asking typical question if you remember this it will be easy if you are not remember this you will feel questions are very innovative it is very tough how to solve it but once you are remembered it will be easy to solve what to do angle between the hour sand and minute hand at any point of time we know already they will be 0 degree 11 times 180 degree 11 times or any of the degree between 0 to 180 it will be 22 times just suppose any point of time angle between these two are theta then theta will have always two value one when minute hand will be behind our sand and next minute hand will be ahead of ours means we can say if theta is 30 degree then always we will get two value one between hours and minute when minute hand is behind another is when minute hand is overtakes the hours hand. due to this same concept will apply two times theta equal to 11 by 2 m minus 30 h m equal to this 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 will be applied if 11 by 2 m is greater than 30 h or this just will reverse it because just angle measurement one time we will just measure clockwise one time will anti-clockwise that is only thing this is not a big rocket science due to we are using two equations one time positive angle will no need to tell a standard method is we have to measure this theta okay if we want to measure for this actually we should measure like this this is the method but what will happen value of theta will increase it will become around you can say fourth quadrant it will come due to what we'll do in place of that we can measure like this what we'll do in place of theta we'll write minus theta due to here if theta you will make it minus theta then this sign it will become change i think i am just bringing you a school level although you understood but this perspective try to understand 
then this will become 30 h minus 11 by 2 m m equal to this 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 like this now when these condition will be applied just by common sense we can apply 11 by 2 m greater than 30 h when minute hand is ahead of our hand means already surpassed and this will be less when minute hand is behind the power hand okay just we'll look pictographically also this is theta one is this case when we are measuring like this here minute hand is behind the our hand and this side minute hand is ahead of our hand this is your our hand this is your minute hand. both of the time angle will be theta then any of the position if you want to find the value of theta you always you will get two value one is this side one is this side okay and this will be ahead if 11 by 2 m is greater than 30 this is ahead this case and this is behind this 